Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. This is on Perl. Here, in this session, we are going to talk about hashes. Hashes are key value pairs. They are very similar to arrays, but in arrays you use at sign, here you use percentage sign. So I declare a hash table. Hash table elements always occur in pairs. So I give a pair, a key as one, value as MON, another key as three, value as Wednesday, like the days in the week. Second day is Tuesday, fourth day is Thursday. I assume Saturday and Sunday are the end, okay? This is a hash table. So it always occurs in key and value pairs. So what I'm trying to do is for each dollar key on this hash table, I am printing this. For each key is like one, two, three, four as they occur. And then I'm using a special function. If you see here, I'm using this dollar percentage days as dollar days. This is the entire hash table. Within the hash table, I want to access one element that is dollar day. So you need to use the dollar symbol on the same hash name. And then within curly braces, the dollar key. This means if the key is one, get the corresponding value for that key one. Okay. So the key is one, the corresponding value is Monday. If the key is two, the corresponding value is Tuesday. So if you want to get it, the syntax to get that function within the hash table is rather than an index saying that give me the third index or fourth index, give me the value for this key directly. In arrays, you have to have contiguous elements like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that. Here, they need not be continuous. They can be anything. So I'm just printing it. Just watch. It is not in a sorted order, 1, 3, 2, and 4. It is in this order. Now, let me execute this. p4.pl. Now you see here, it is printing in a different order, like uh, it is not displaying the order in which I initialized. It prints Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday. It is not printing in the order because the hash tables are stored inside the system in a different way. But I want to sort it. So if you want to sort it, the best thing is sort keys. So if you use the keywords sort keys and then the hash table, now you see the magic. The same loop, I did the sort. Now when I run, here you see it is sorted based on the key 1, 2, 3, 4. It was initialized in a different way. Now it is showing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So the purpose of hash table is to have a quick sort of this. Now if I want to add elements, I want to add an element. You have to use it as a variable, dollar days. Then I want to add the fifth element equal to saying uh, Friday. Then dollar days within curly braces, seventh element equal to Sunday. Now, if you see here, I am not giving contiguous. Okay. So it can be five, six, seven or five or seven. It can be in any order. Now let me say print before element addition. So it is the original hash table. Now I want to have another print after addition of these elements. Let us have this. So here, initially there are four elements. Then I added two more elements. Then I am uh, printing that information. Okay. Now, if I want to give uh, zero, I'm just adding. It need not be the fifth element. I'm just adding it. Just watch. So before addition, there are only one, two, three, four elements. After addition, with the sort, it was able to add that zeroth element in the right location. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then seven. The fifth and sixth locations are not present. Still, it is able to accommodate them into the structure. 
whereas in arrays if you don't have the fifth and sixth element a location will still be reserved whereas in hash table the location is not reserved and you can add it in any place same way I added I can delete elements also okay now I say delete uh, dollar days of just hold on a second let me check the syntax once again so here is the syntax for the delete delete within regular braces dollar days of the fourth element I am just removing again I am printing to show you that the element is deleted so I have an original hash table then I added two elements then I print that then I delete one element and then I print it let us see how it behaves now if you see here first there are four elements then I added two elements then those two elements were showing here element 4 for Thursday is present over here I deleted that element it says and after deletion it says that that particular 4 Thursday is not present so this is hash table so in hash table you always have a key and a value pair so you can have two two key value pairs and then you can sort it and you can insert and you can uh, remove elements uh, just by giving the key uh, if you are familiar with uh, uh, random files or uh, direct files you give the location it will go and then delete that element or access that element it is very similar to that so hash table given a key it will access that particular element those key values uh, can be anything the keys need not be continuous like in arrays starting from zero this is hash table in Perl script thank you